In a previous video, I showed you how dangerous a lithium ion battery from China can be. But I still haven't measured the real capacity of those fake ultrafire batteries yet. Let's do just that and see whether it will really be 4800 mAh. Which I doubt. First of all, what does milliamp hour mean? If we draw a coordinate system and label the x-axis time in hours and the y-axis current in milliamps, then we can monitor the current our battery can supply over time. We could use this big 3.6 ohm resistor as a load and write down the current draw every hour. As you can see, the current decreases over time because the voltage of our battery drops slowly from 4.2 volts to 2.5 volts. And since we are all familiar with Ohm's law, we can see why. The resistance is constant, the voltage decreases and so does our current. Calculating the capacity from this function involves an integral and is quite inaccurate in this case. It would be way easier if our current supply stays the same no matter how the voltage changes. But wait, we can do this with a constant current load. This guy can easily draw 500 milliamps even when the voltage drops from 4.2 volts to 2.5 volts. Here is the very, very simple schematic. I used a small piece of Vero board, an IRFZ 44N N channel MOSFET, two PCB terminals, a 1 ohm 5 watt resistor, a 500 kilo ohm potentiometer and a LM358 op amp. The whole build only took me around 15 minutes and if you want to build the same circuit then you can find the schematic, parts list and the board design on Instructables. Link is in the description. And don't forget to put a heatsink on the MOSFET because this guy will get really hot. Literally. Now let's hook the circuit up to a 5 volt power source. We can adjust the voltage for the V-in pin with the potentiometer. Let's set it to 1 volt. The op amp here works as a simple voltage comparator. If V-in is higher than our V-ref, the output gets pulled high to 4 volts. This makes the drain to source path of the MOSFET conductive and current can flow through the 1 ohm resistor as soon as the power supply is connected to the load terminal. But when this happens, we suddenly have a voltage drop across our resistor, which represents V-ref. If this voltage is higher than our V-in, the output will get pulled down to 0 volts, aka ground. This closes the MOSFET, which decreases the current flow and the voltage drop. But before reaching 0 volts on the outputs, V-in is already higher than V-ref, which opens the gate again. This results in a fast changing cycle between on and off with a frequency of over 100 kHz. The both inputs try to stay on the same voltage level, which lets us calculate the constant current. It is V in divided by resistance. In our case, 1 volt divided by 1 ohm equals 1 amp. And as you can see, it works flawlessly. Now let's adjust the potentiometer to get a load of 500 milliamps. I charged up a lithium ion battery with my bench power supply by adjusting the voltage to 4.2 volts and the maximum current to 1 amp. Once the current draw settled to almost nothing, I stopped charging and connected it to my constant load. I hooked up all my measuring equipment to monitor the voltage and current over time. When the constant load was powered up, I started the stopwatch on my phone. Don't worry that the current clamp only shows 480 something milliamps. It is not that precise. The whole discharge process took quite a while, but after 1 hour and 48 minutes, the voltage finally reached 2.5 volts. If we multiply the 500 milliamp constant load with 1.8 hours, we get a capacity of Drum rolls please. 900 milliamp hour. Well, to be honest, I expected even worse. 
let's see whether I will use them in a future project. Until then, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, that would be awesome. Stay creative and I will see you next time.